I ground. can see that Pranab Mukherjee has forced you to take a longer term perspective on things because there's nothing that you can say here and now this makes good sense for you my know, business. You know, when, when there are very dark clouds, you just search for the silver lining. <laughs> That's what we're trying to do. Uh, Rajiv, uh, again, I'm going to ask you to take that macro view on uh, and observations really cutting across some of the sectors that they represent. Uh, you know, uh, actually, because Pranab Babu has not taken that long term view, that is why we are being forced to take that long term view. <laughs> uh, this is my biggest disappointment. I think it's a big opportunity lost. Uh, five years of roadmap could have been laid out. Uh, you know, if I look at uh, the IT and the telecom sector, to which most of the representatives belong, except for Mr. Uh, Gera. Uh, then look at, let's look at the telecom uh, sector. The overall revenue and capital budget has been raised from 4,400 crores to 7,800 crores. And out of which the biggest increase is actually relief to ITI, which is 2,820 crores. It has been just slipped in. What kind of relief to this organization, which probably is not performing uh, because of poor efficiencies. If one looks at uh, the information uh, technology, the biggest increases have, uh, and they actually contribute to 70% of the overall uh, revenue uh, budget of that uh, ministry, knowledge, uh, national knowledge uh, scheme, which has gone up from 54 crores to 540 crores, and it is multiple gigabyte bank bandwidth to connect knowledge institutions across the country. Uh, then there is uh, Northeast, which has gone up from 139 to 233 crores. National Informa Informatics Center has gone up from 277 to 419. So it's what basically, are these telling no, you? these are telling us that the, the government wants to improve its uh, functioning in terms of the information needs. But what is there in it for the industry to, be, be, to become globally competitive? Here is the chance that in these two sectors, we can define the agenda worldwide, right? And uh, here we are not even manufacturing even a single chip which can actually produce, uh, you know, world-class, low-cost uh, competitive uh, laptops. Why should we not do that? I, you know, we have alluded to that in the previous uh, this thing. IT hardware, IT software, and I'm coming back very focused on the SMEs. Uh, why could there not have been any relief uh, for these, uh, you know, uh, companies in this sector to adopt IT hardware and uh, software and actually uh, raise their overall competitiveness and sustainability? So I, I personally feel that's a big, big opportunity loss. If I can